Hi, this is Razor Wire, and this is a Twin Flame reading. Before I begin, I just wanted to let you know that I have a, a couple of playlists. Um, I have Pick a Piles. I have a new series that I'm starting on tarot, uh, where we are going to be learning more about the tarot cards together, because I am a novice uh, with tarot. Uh, I have a Twin Flame music playlist where I have um, put up the songs that I myself have received, but which I feel uh, really speak to the connection, and I think they will really speak to um, to you guys as well. And a number of those songs, you know, prior uh, to uh, my Twin Flame connection, I had never heard before. So they, so it's some music. Some of the music is completely new to me as well. So you might hear some songs that you haven't heard that speak to you. Um, and I also have a playlist on signs and synchronicities, and I have lots of other things I'm thinking about working on, including affirmations. I have one video for that so far, um, but I just wanted to let you know kind of about the different projects that I have in mind, and then I wanted to ask you guys a question. Um, do you have a preferred length for, the, for these readings? Is there kind of a length that you are the most comfortable with? Just let me know in the comments. All right, I've already dealt the cards to save on time, and we're going to start today with the masculine, and we are using the Light, Seer, Light Seer's Tarot for the masculine, and also some uh, custom decks I have here. And we'll start with some messages from the masculine to the feminine. And remember, the masculine isn't necessarily male. You know, they can be of any gender. It's the energy. And we're starting out with, I'm finding it hard to open up. Okay, sometimes it's hard to put our feelings into words. Um, sometimes we're not taught in childhood how to express ourselves. Or we may even be encouraged to bottle off our emotions and feelings. Or we may have been hurt in the past and we are reluctant um, to come forward and to be emotional. And the next part is, I don't want perfect. Okay, so they're not... They love you exactly how you are. Sometimes on this journey, when you when you kind of hear about twins coming into union and what it takes to come into union and, and all of the healing work you have to do, it makes it seem like you have to be a saint, like you have to be absolutely perfect. But that's not the truth. Um, you simply, you just have to be yourself, to be comfortable being yourself. Um, and all that that entails, because you know, at the end of the day, we're still human beings, having a human experience, you know, e even with intense healing and medi uh, meditation practice and, and all of these things, that there's still going to be some degree of ego involved, you know, so none of us are perfect, we're all learning, we're all growing, and your twin doesn't expect you to be perfect, and they will forgive you for any mistakes that you've made in the past. Um, and we've got dreams come true, okay? So your masculine is encouraging you to believe in yourself and in your dreams to, to keep the faith in this connection. And then we have, I would leave it all behind for you, okay? So they would walk out of their life and leave everything behind um, just, you know, for the chance to be with you. And you might be thinking, oh, why haven't they done that? Well, if they haven't done it yet, it's because they still have some healing. They're not quite ready. They're not quite... Um, you know, um, they haven't become who it is that they're meant to become on this journey. You know, sometimes um, it's not really their free will. It's not their free will which is keeping them away from you. It's more of the divine timing issues. It's, it's for your protection, you know. So um, that's what's kind of keeping them away from you right now it, is that. It's not, it's not their choice. To stay away, they they want to be with you. They want to explore this relationship, but they still have healing. You still have healing. There's still balance that needs to come in um, into the connection. Okay, we're starting with the hanged man, um, and the hanged man can represent sacrifice, which they spoke of when they said they would leave everything behind for you. It can talk about um, delays, necessary delays. Um, it speaks of you know, going within, introspection, um, 
spiritual awakening and experience, you know, opening of the crown chakra and the third eye chakra, you know, leaving behind the superficial 3D realm and, and moving into that, to the higher, you know, into the higher planes. Okay, so they're starting to, um, you know, awaken and become more spiritually minded, you know. And it's also about surrender. You know, they're learning to surrender to this journey. They're learning to be vulnerable and flexible. And that takes, that can take time, if, especially if they have a lot of walls up. Um, we have gratitude and gifts at the same time. So they're grateful for everything that you bring to the connection, everything you've done. You know, they they read everything you've written um, and, and they treasure all the time that you've spent together, whether the, in the 3D and the 5D. Um, although it may not seem as much, they are really grateful for you and the connection. All right, so we have... Um, the Three of Cups reversed here, and I don't usually do reversals, but this particular card jumped out and it, and it fell in a reverse position. And when that happens, I will read them. Um, so this can be about feeling left out, um, about miscommunication. So there could have been a misunderstanding between the two of you um, that has been weighing on their mind. It could be that you're starting to move on and you're starting to make new friends and so forth and they're feeling left out. They're feeling like they're not a part of your um, your life anymore. And that's, that's causing them to kind of go into panic and, and worry. Or it could indicate a, a third party situation and this could be um, something that you are, you know, that you're in a relationship, you've moved on and you're in a relationship. Or it could be a relationship that they're still in, you know, and, and if they are still in any kind of relationship, that's one of the reasons there is a delay, why they haven't come forward, because they don't, you know, want to come forward when they're still in a relationship and, and only be able to give you half of themselves, you know, they want to give you themselves completely. And then we've got the world, which is um, for completion, the ending of cycles, positive outcomes, um, you know, things are starting to move again. It could indicate travel. You know, so things, you know, things are changing. Uh, right now, this is, um, you may be in a cycle of rest and recovery, um, a kind of shedding of your metaphorical skin, like with the, because um, we often see the snake, we see a snake with the world in a lot of situations. And this may even be kind of like the snake energy, the circle. Um, and then we have the King of Cups. Okay, and the King of Cups is about love, you know, and compassion. And it represents a good listener. This is a, a mature man who is ready for a committed relationship. They, When they come forward, they are offering you uh, a relationship of substance. And that's what your masculine wants to offer you. They want to offer you a relationship of, of substance. Okay, so their feelings are sincere. And then we've got the Ten of Wands, and they're, but they're just feeling a bit overwhelmed right now. That's why they're taking that time for themselves to get right with themselves, um, because they're feeling a bit overwhelmed by the journey. But they are, they are moving forward. They are invested um, in the journey, and you know they're closer than you think. Essentially, they're they're closer than you think. And for the quotes, we have. If I know what love is, it is because of, because of you, by Herman Hess. Okay, so that's beautiful, isn't it? You're teaching them what love means, what unconditional love is. You know, you are awakening a part of themselves that they've never seen before. And that can be overwhelming and frightening. Um, and, and some of them maybe have never, have never been in love. They maybe have never even been in a serious relationship before. So the whole thing might be new to them. But that is for the masculine. And now we have the feminine. And I'm using the Royo Dark Tarot. And the feminine, all the feminine is saying right now is, I'm finding clarity. Okay, so right now you're also doing some introspection. You know, you're, you're doing the work internally. You know, what do you want out of this relationship? Um, what, what do you need to do to have a, 
to create a good life for yourself, to be to be happy, what, what still needs to heal. And we've got the marriage card. Okay, so you're you're looking to the future, you know, you're thinking about what it is that you want in the future, what kind of relationship you want. And then you've got the page of swords. And the page of swords um, in some of the decks is recovery from depression. Okay, so if there's something if you've been depressed, if, if you've been really affected by mercury retrograde or any other um, situation, the obstacles in the world, this is about recovery. This is about discovering um, your passion again. You know, it is about rediscovering yourself again, about curiosity. You know, you're starting to open up your mind again. So if you'd closed your mind, if you'd um, closed your heart and you said it's never going to happen um, you know they're not doing the work I'm doing all of the work I give up I'm moving on if, if you've been in that energy you are starting to open up again you're starting to be curious again you're starting to feel that that pull again you know back to your masculine you may be starting to see some signs and stuff and then we've got um, the queen of swords and that goes along with the, the seeking of clarity um, the, the Queen of Swords is a, a very powerful figure, you know, she is, um, a bit guarded, uh, she is cerebral, highly intelligent, very capable, um, an excellent communicator, so she's really, really good with words, um, so that, that really goes into what you're, what we've seen in the others, that you are, um, expressing yourself now more confidently, saying more clearly what it is that you want in a relationship. And then we've got the Four of Swords, which is about rest and recovery and, you know, healing. So you also need to take some time to, to heal yourself, okay, to, to go within. Um, this can also be a card of loneliness in this particular deck. You are missing your mask and you are missing that con connection. Um, and the closeness and then we've got the the star and the star is about you know hope for the future about inspiration you know so you are you starting you know um to, to feel hope again if you had kind of lost hope in the connection you're starting uh, to regain that sense of hope and then we've got the hermit and in this particular card, there's some mirroring energy going on. And I can sense that, that you're kind of mirroring your masculine right now, that you're both needing some time to yourself to go within and reflect on the connection, um, maybe to meditate or connect with the divine because you're feeling a bit low, a bit depleted, a bit confused about things. And for your card, you've got, all I know is that everything I feel or think of turns to love. Albert Camus, and that's really beautiful, okay, um, so your masculine said, you know, that you have helped them um, to understand what love really means, what unconditional love is, and you are starting to see um, that the love all around you, you know, that, that there is, the capac your capacity for love is, is far greater than what you ever could have dreamed of. You're starting to understand that you're masculine too, that there is a depth to him, uh, you know, an emotional depth to him that maybe you hadn't perceived originally. Um, you know, you're certainly thinking about him, you know, about the love that you have, that you share, that you feel, that you could have, how things might be in the future. All right. Next, we have the um, journey here, and the gu your guides are saying, I'm doing the work, okay? So they're letting you know that you are both doing the work, that you are both invested in this connection, okay? So it's, it's a two-way connection. If you've been wondering if this is a one-sided situation, it's not. You're both invested. And we've got the Page of Wands. And, you know, the Page of Wands is about good news, it's about inspiration, it's about adventurousness and passion and, you know, loyalty and conviction. So you guys are starting to find your fire again. You know, you're starting to move forward and you're starting to just kind of 
recover. Like if you've been going through some difficult times, you're starting to kind of recover that um, zest, zest for life. And I'm using the Millennium Toth for the journey. And so we've got the Eight of Swords. And this is that overthinking, right? You've been overthinking everything, you know. It's, it's the ego energy, it's the victim mentality, it's pessimism, it's worry and anxiety and stress and all of these things, you know, that you've been going through. So you've both been kind of in your head about things. And you've got the Ten of Pentacles here, which is, this is um, the future, right? This is the spiritual mission. This is your higher calling, your higher purpose. This is the, what you guys are creating together, the happy family um, you know, the, the, the beautiful relationship that is a, you know, a model relationship in the sense that it's like changes all the old paradigms, the kind of reinvention of love almost. And then we've got the two of swords and the two of swords is, it, you know, that you're both kind of in this, um, sort of stuck energy about, you know, you have decisions to make. And it's a, but you're not sure what to do. You're weighing your options a little bit. It's about emotional repression. It's a need to compromise and be more flexible. Okay, so if you've been very attached to things working out a certain way, certain outcomes, if you've been, you know, in the habit of giving ultimatums and stuff, it's saying that it's time to just surrender and release that and remain, like, keep yourself open and curious. And if you do that, you've got the Six of Wands, which is victory and success and recognition and, you know, rewards for the hard work, you know, that you've been doing actually paying off. So, you know, keep that open mindset. You know, be curious. Let yourself be surprised. And you've got the Princess of Pentacles. And I like this card because this is a woman who is in her power. She knows what she wants. Um, she's confident and capable. She's got the symbol of Tao, so she's in harmony with herself, um, comfortable in her own skin. She's manifesting. You know, she's a powerful manifester. And then we got the Four of Pentacles, and this is in this particular deck. It's about security. It's about um, integrity, building something that's uh, that's gonna last. It's about proper utilization of resource. Um, you know, toward a sort of structured goal. All right, and for the quotes, we have, this one's a long one. Deep down, I am not different from you. I dreamed you. I wished for your existence. I see in you that part of me which is you. I surrender my sincerity because if I love you, it means we share the same fantasies. We share the same Madness. And that is by Anais Nin. I believe it's Anais, actually. I've been mispronouncing it. But this is, is very beautiful. This is proof that you are feeling the same things, that you are dreaming about each other, that you really want this future um, together, that you see um, yourself in your twin, that you recognize who they are, you know, that there's no denying this connection, and they see themselves in you, and you are both um, going through the, exactly the same experiences, the same doubts, the same fears, the same, you know, the, the passion and, and, and the love, and this just not being able to stop thinking about each other, you know, that almost obsessive thinking about each other you're all you're just you're experiencing exactly the same things it's completely completely reciprocated so if you've had any doubts that this person is your twin flame this is absolute confirmation and we also have i want to do with you what spring does with the cherry trees and that's pablo neruda okay so you want to grow together you want to bloom together um you want to you know have this, you know, sensual, romantic um, experience, you know, with each other, you know, it's, this is, you know, about the earthly aspects, the 3D aspects of what you want, um, but also the, the spiritual aspects, the, you know, evolving and ascending, growing together, blooming as, as people, um, so yeah, um, so very, very positive ending with these, with these messages.
So all those things might feel stuck right now, and although you might be filled with fear and doubt, this is the real deal, and you are, you know, you're, you're on your way. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe.